Kia ora folks, Russ the Bushman here. Welcome to the Native Plant ID series. Okay, this should be video two in the Native Plant ID series. Now, we've got a fascinating plant for you guys today. Check it out. See this? Beautiful plant. I'll give you guys a closer look. Check it out. Unusual way. Looks like a palm. And that's because it is. It's New Zealand's native palm. It's the most southernmost palm in the world. It's very, it is the most unusual plant to see besides a few other plants in New Zealand bush, okay? It's, it's really random looking, really random looking. Well, anyway, just a little few information bits, tidbits for you guys, okay? The plant grows from anywhere from 2 to 3 meters, right, right up into about 20, 22 meters, okay? Sometimes if you go in the bush, you can see real tall trunks. It should be gray gray lightly battered gray with spotted gray around it with maybe red moss around it okay there's the kneecap palm so just one more look pretty awesome looking eh now sometimes you can find talking about the edible parts okay there, there are a few parts okay green berries not red green you can eat okay they just taste basically like a little bit like slightly sugary water there's not much in it when they go red they are hard as rocks, so don't bother. You can use them for bird shooting, because that's what the colonials did back in the days, during the 1800s. When ammunition was scarce in the country, they used to use Nikau palm berries, the red ones, and uh, they were quite effective. Now, if we break away all of this, this is what they call the millionaire salad, folks. This is it. Now, what you have to do is... Well, there's three things you can eat, obviously. The berries, like I told you, green berries. There is an inner flower inside here. If we peel it back, peel it back, so we get rid of the old one, that's all right. There's a flower inside here. So peel all this back. Okay. Now, during certain times of the year, you guys might not see it, but it's right here, okay? Right in here. There's a, a green flower with a sheath. The unsheathed, well, the sheathed flower it hasn't bloomed, all right? Hasn't developed. You can eat that. Now, your third option, what you can do, and I tell folks not to do, you can do it though, is what you do is you chop down the tree, strip down all the fronds, then you eat in the pit. The inner pith. That's what they call millionaire salad. Okay, folks, so Nikau Palm. Great tree to see. Great, great palm. New Zealand's most, one of the most unique plants. There's a few, as I said, there's a few others. Lancewood, perhaps. A few others more, but this to me is one of my favorite palms. Okay, one of my favorite plants because, as I said, this is not the tropics. This is like a subtropics, and it's the only native palm to New Zealand. It's Bizarre. I, I find it bizarre. There you go, folks. New Zealand's native palm. Beautiful palm. Give you guys a quick gander up and down. There we go. It goes up. Now, personally, us Māori, would, we would use these dried fronds for thatching. We would make heaps of things with this. Um, I'll, I'll tell you guys a little bit about the cultural side. Now the cultural side, but the Nikau palm, there is actually a story in Māori mythology, Māori folklore, about the palm too. There are several versions, so I will not tell you guys the story, because as I said, there several versions. Some Māori people might be watching this and be like, huh? This is what the hell wasn't told to me, so. In that perspective, I'm not going to tell the story. However, as I said, the dried fronds, they were used for thatching. They were also used for an uh, art, uh, art form called a uh, putti-putti, which is flowers. Okay, P-U-T-I, P-U-T-I, putti-putti. Okay, so they were used in their art form. They were also used for ko tuku tuku, K-O-T-U-K-U, T-U-K-U, ko tuku tuku panels. And tuku tuku panels were inside traditional marae. They were they were weaved into intricate. Maori people were fascinated with triangle designs, always upside down triangle designs, and the number three. Okay, so that's a bit of cultural history for you guys regarding the 
Nick Yow Palm is on its most unique palm. Great palm, great tree. Thank you guys and thank you folks for watching my video. My ID series folks. Take care, bless your trails and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.